I've been parked here longer than I thought. This is what, what the bus currently looks like. I am going through a bunch of stuff and uh, redoing some things in here, cleaning out, organizing. Uh, I'm at uh, some family's, uh, family's place in, uh, outside Portland. So let's do a quick little update. First update. <laughs> I'm not going to Alaska, unfortunately. Uh, some people scared me away uh, in the comments saying that gas was $6 a gallon, I think it was badge. So if I got eight miles per gallon, we'll just call it six, $6 a gallon, that's a dollar a gallon. Alaska's 2,500 miles away from here. Even if I was to use 900 miles in vegetable oil, let's say a thousand, that still gives me 1,500 miles, 1,500 miles, dollars, 1,500 dollars and miles just to get there. <laughs> then I'd have to spend $2,500 to get back. That's $4,000 that I don't want to spend uh, for Alaska for a month. All right, the next update. Um, Wanderboom is going to get here uh, tomorrow, which is actually right now when you guys are watching this video, because I'm going to put this video up tomorrow, which will be your today. Um, I had some things I need to finish inside the bus. I have absolutely no tools with me for woodworking besides a jigsaw. Um, so uh, happy to see him and uh, also have a little issue with the countertops. I might have to redo them. The next update is about vegetable oil. I was able to find 50 gallons of free vegetable oil here in Portland and I'm gonna add two additional vegetable oil tanks that will bring me up to a total of close to 300 gallon capacity, which will give me more than 2,000 mile range to run on vegetable oil. You may be asking why wasn't it a problem, all the vegetable oil? Um, the reason is because it works and it works with my budget. Uh, it's very cheap when and if I can find it and if I have a 2,000 mile plus range, I guarantee you I can go from uh, place to place exclusively and only on vegetable oil, which is the plan. The next update is that I think for winter time, I'm going to try to find a place to park on a ski resort so then I can snowboard all winter and work on a book project that I would like to do also. You may see a familiar face coming back in the very near future. Someone with some furry ears. Now, when I built this bus, I was not ready for very moist environments. I was in Colorado, very dry. I was in Arizona, very dry. The moisture, at first, also, I'd never recommend this type of material. I would recommend something um, like a half inch uh, thick wood. This is what happens in moisture. So we're gonna have to fix that. Uh, the countertops absorbed water and decided to bow out. Uh, that's gonna be a whole nother thing. The fridge is working great. I have a fan over here that I bought specifically to pull out hot air out of this compartment into here. Uh, a lot of things going on. Again, I don't have any tools with me. Uh, this is why I left here a year ago. I also don't want to do lots more building videos. I'm over it. <laughs> um, I've done it. I've tried to be as helpful as possible. And uh, I want to move on from build videos. So I am parked here for the next uh, uh, month or so, real time. Um, not sure how many more videos I will make. I'll try to uh, have them be as interesting as possible. But for the future, I. Um, definitely want to raise the quality of the videos so yeah basically I just kind of like to trim the fat on some of these videos and make it the most interesting video as I possibly can okay and I think the last update will be uh, mid-september I think I will be in Montana uh, exploring with Josh uh, exploring with Cody uh, Nicole will be with me 
and uh, possibly a couple other content creators. And we're gonna go on a road trip of sorts for a couple of weeks, I think. So that I'm very much looking forward to. I wanna have this thing absolutely done. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna kinda take it easy, try and fi finish up this thing without going completely insane. And um, <laughs> and that's uh, kind of kind of what I've been doing right now. Um, so yeah. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please hit the notification button if you uh, enjoy my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. It's very important. Um, I make peanuts on YouTube, uh, sadly but truly. Um, so I will catch you guys in the next video.